Social distancing and staying at home help reduce the spread of COVID-19, but people without a home may be unable to separate themselves from others. If you don't have a place to live and you're living maybe with someone else or you're living in a communal setting, you don't have the advantage or the privilege to be able to distance yourself. Dr. Karen Brown is the executive director of Natasha House, a transitional home in Yorktown for women and children. Dr. Brown's passion comes from her own experience after she and her sons had no place to stay. Some of the things I wanted to prevent is that cycle of having older children be responsible for younger children and then breaking that stigma of getting uh, therapy or counseling to deal with trauma. The crisis has forced Natasha House to close its doors, but the group is still doing all it can to reach people working towards self-sufficiency. We're still housing our seven families and making sure that they stay safe. Another thing that we're still doing is we're holding Zoom trainings for the moms because we do budgeting, financial planning. The nonprofit needs your financial help to continue to provide housing and counseling services during the pandemic. In the long run, we also need to be thinking about how we're going to change this dynamic uh, for our homeless population and, and do something for them and require something of them that will cause their lives to be changed. Ashley Smith, 13 News Now.